What is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I've made in past videos but thought I would make one more video just to kind of clarify as I do get a lot of these comments in my uh, comment sections on the specific video. So today we're going to be talking about the Apple gift card, uh, what you can and can't do with it, and some of the things that I know and don't really know much about when it comes to some of the questions that people ask. So the first thing we'll talk about is the questions. Now I do get a lot of people who reply and ask, well, will it work with this app or will it work with that app? Generally, 9 out of 10, any app that you buy through the App Store, it will allow you to simply just use the iTunes gift card to basically use in-app purchases for that app. Now, with that being said, not all apps are the same. I had to make a separate video for Roblox because it was different than, say, Clash of uh, Titans or any other specific apps like that where you can just simply just go in the app itself and then simply just buy some coins through the app and just use you know the app in store app credits to do that i don't know much about any other apps other than the roblox because that's the one i usually tend to get asked a question a lot about is that second of all also is if you buy a card and the card is invalid or you type in the code it's invalid more than likely it could be one of two things you could have gotten a bad card someone could have bought that card and then um, they used the code and they put it back up for sale and you just got a bad card or you just could have gotten a batch of bad cards depending on where you bought it from so you can normally just sometimes and i'm not saying all stores will do this but generally you can usually go back to that store and say hey i bought this card uh it's not open it's i opened it tried using it the code is invalid it says that it was already used i just bought it um you might get away with it you might not otherwise you can always go and uh, call apple customer service and see what you can get to fix or resolve there. Otherwise, I'm just gonna tell you the same thing. If the code is invalid, either you check to make sure you entered in the code correctly, or it's possible you just could have gotten a faulty card. Now, with that being said, we're gonna get into the video. So, Apple cards, or as they're called, Apple gift cards, or they're really Apple cards, these can be used for pretty much anything related to Apple, whether it's in the physical Apple store or digital in the App Store. So these cannot be used for any other third party, such as Goo, uh, Grubhub or DoorDash or anything that is not Apple related in any sense. I get a lot of people who ask, can I use this for Grubhub? Can I use this at the grocery store? Can I use this to buy food? No, you can only use these specifically in the Apple universe. So if you're going to the Apple store and you wanted to buy, say, an iPhone or a pair of AirPods, and you had a gift card with some balance on it, you can use that in conjunction with any other form of payment that you have to do that. Otherwise, if you have a gift card, and typically the highest you can put on these is about $500, and you wanna buy a set of AirPods and like say $200, then you can use your gift card to purchase that AirPod, and then whatever's left on your balance is what you have left. Otherwise, that is specifically what these are used for. They're used for services, specifically for Apple and for nobody else. So now I'm going to show you how to actually use this on your app store, how to redeem this through your iTunes account. And this can be used for any type of subscription-based services through the app store, whether it be Netflix, Hulu, HBO, whatever app that you're using that is a subscription-based, you can use an iTunes card for that. And you can continue to use that depending on how much money you have left on the card or how much you start out with. And then you have to have another form of payment. So again, I get a lot of questions asking, well, what happens when I run out of money on my gift card? If you don't have a debit card or any other form of payment, once that subscription is no longer valid in terms of once the money runs out on that, you're either going to have to have a debit card or a credit card. Otherwise, it'll just cancel your account because it's assuming that you don't have the funds to pay for it anymore. So I usually would recommend if you're going to be buying one of these gift cards, whatever amount you put on it, use a debit card also in the same token. That way, if you do run out of money on this, you can just simply just take the money from your debit card and then when your time, when it's time to buy, you know, another iTunes card, then you just buy it, and then that can be your deform, uh, your your default payment for this. So otherwise, I'm gonna show you how to redeem this through your iTunes account, and then end the video there. So as you can see from the screen, we are on my iPhone. What we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to the App Store, which is gonna be represented by the giant A. So anyone has an iPhone knows that the A is the App Store for the Apple iPhone ecosystem and all of that. You're going to tap on that and it brings you to your app store. This is your app store. This is where you go to buy all your apps and pretty much anything that you need through the app store, whether it be for uh, Netflix, Hulu, subscriptions, games, 
it's all through the App Store. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap in the right hand corner of your phone and that'll either be represented by you having a picture or typically your name or whether it be an initials like whatever your initial is on your name. That's what you're going to tap on on the top corner of the iPhone. So you tap on that and then here it's going to show you your name, email address, purchase, subscriptions, notifications. Pretty much what you see here is exactly what it's going to show when it comes time to redeem your gift card. Now, as you can see, there are three options here. Send a gift card by email, which means you can actually send somebody a gift card through their email, and then they can redeem that through their Apple, uh, Apple account. Or you can add money to your account if you want to do it manually. Otherwise, you can simply just redeem a gift card or code. We're going to redeem a gift card and code. And I have my iTunes card here. Now, this has already been used, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So what we're going to do is you're going to tap on the redeem card or code. And then it's going to bring you to right here. It'll say redeem gift card or code for purchases in store or in app. So you're going to use the camera or we're going to enter in the code. For this video, we're going to do the camera. So you're going to simply tap on the camera. And once you put the card in front of it, it's pretty much instantaneously. Uh, it will grab the code and then it will redeem it. So as you can see, the little white bar, it shows you the code right there. It'll either ask for your face ID or for thumbprint. As you see, this code has already been redeemed, so that means I've already got it, and that's pretty much it. Otherwise, if you want to do it, uh, the code manually, you simply just tap in, enter in code manually, and then at the bottom, you simply just tap on the code, and then that'll be the code on the card, and then that's how that works. And then once it's done, it gives you a balance on your account. Otherwise, you can simply slide into what's known as your Apple Wallet, which at the bottom here looks like a simple pass box. Tap on that, and right there as you can see Apple account that is my balance and that is literally all there is to it anytime we do any type of in-app purchases with this you will simply just use whatever amount of funds you have on this once that is done that is done so and that is how you redeem gift cards from the Apple store and again these can be redeemed in both the physical store as well as on the app store for a numerous amounts of subscription based services or for buying apps or for buying music uh, otherwise once you do run out of the balance, when it runs zero, you will need another form of payment if you are doing any type of subscription-based services that even includes Apple's uh, Apple Care. So for those of you that may not know, you can actually use your iTunes gift cards for paying off or for using subscription-based services for your Apple devices. So for instance, for my iPad Pro, if I wanted to do Apple Care for this without actually having to buy Apple Care, I can use my iTunes gift card for the subscription based service of this and I can continue that beyond the three years so for the iPad uh, Pro it would be six dollars a month so I just keep paying six dollars a month even if I continue past the three years which is what Apple Care usually will cover to once I continually pay that even past the three years I can keep paying that till I no longer want to pay it and once I stop then that's it there's no coverage but you can use your uh, iTunes gift cards for subscriptions for Apple Care, and I have a link down below for that if you're curious to see how much it would cost for uh, the subscription base for your Apple device. Now, these are going to be approximate prices. I don't know if they're actually what they're going to be, but again, I have a link down below if you want to take a look at that. And that's all that I got for you guys today. I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, if you're new to my channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell notification. That way, you don't miss content when I drop it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your week.